Number 31. An expensive vacuum system can achieve a pressure as low as 1 times 10 to the minus 7 newtons per meter square at 20 degrees Celsius. How many atoms are there in a cubic centimeter at this pressure and temperature? All right. So if, you, if you're kind of understanding the nature of what's given in the problem, the conditions are not changing here, right? They're not saying, hey, we start with some initial set. And now we have some final set, right? It's just saying calculate uh, the number of atoms, okay? Or they're asking how many atoms are there at this volume, at this pressure, at this temperature. Anytime that that's the case, you know you're going to be dealing with the ideal gas law in one variant or another, okay? In this problem, we're going to be using this uh, form, PV equals capital N times K times T, all right? Um, have a general video, ideal gas laws linked in the description below. Check that out where I talk about, you know, how to use this formula and what everything means. So uh, what I need to do here is I need to solve for the number of atoms, which is basically N. So we're going to simply then divide out KT from both sides, right? So we'll realize that then N is equal to PV over KT. And it's lowercase k. Don't confuse that with Kelvin. This is the Boltzmann constant. All right. So what's the pressure? The pressure here has to be in Pascal or Newtons per meter square. They're the same thing. So which they give that to us. So this is simply going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 7th multiplied then by the volume. Now the volume has to be in cubic meters, okay? But they told us a cubic centimeter. So I have to do a quick conversion, right? One cubic centimeter is then, we're gonna convert that into uh, meters cubed. So I gotta put centimeter on the bottom, meter on the top. That's 100 centimeters in one meter. And then all I need to now do is simply cube that result, okay? And when you do the math here, we will come up with a value now of this will be 10 raised to the negative six, all right, meters cubed. So this is the volume. So let's take that and plug it in. So this is 10 raised to the negative sixth, okay? Then all divided by the Boltzmann constant, right, which is about uh, 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd. And then the T, the temperature is in, in Kelvin, so we need to take 273 and then add to the Celsius temperature that they gave us of 20. And literally, that's all, okay? So this is gonna be one times 10 to the minus seven, uh, multiplied by 10 raised to the minus six, then divide that now by, in parentheses, 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd, times then in parentheses, 273 plus 20. Close those parentheses, and here we have an N value now, the number of atoms is going to be about 2.47, 2.47 times 10 raised to the six. It looks like seventh, okay? And that is going to be the number of atoms, okay? These are represent atoms. So what's that? About 24, 25 million atoms. All right? So guys, hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you soon.